Last time I set off for a football match, it was pre-England's national lockdown. I travelled from Scotland to England for a match, a five hour round trip, to get told that the match was off because one of the players was displaying symptoms. Before that, my last game was on the 1st of September. It is now the 7th of November. Before that, my last game was sometime in August. And before that, it was in March, pre-first lockdown in Slovakia. I've been to two games since March in what has been a stop-start year for football. However, this has made me think outside the box when trying to create videos. Obviously, with no games and no stadium tours to be able to go to, I've had to kind of think of different ways to keep everyone entertained. And so, after creating 30 videos here in Scotland over the course of this year, I finally get a chance to watch a match here. It will be my first ever match in Scotland. A huge thank you to Stenhouse Muir Football Club for reaching out today and allowing me to come in and giving me press accreditation for the game. They currently play in Scotland's League Two, the fourth tier of football here. I could not be more buzzing for the game and they are playing Edinburgh City. Honestly, I couldn't be more excited and I hope that in the coming months I can create more videos at more games. So the two teams that are playing today, I'll tell you more about them when I'm inside the stadium. But yeah, they're both in the top half of Scottish League Two. Anyway, match day vlog number 20, who knew back Back in the start of this year that 20 would take so long to get here but here it is finally match day vlog number 20 Stenhouse Muir Ockleview Park let's go bit of a nippy one today and it's a little bit foggy as well a little bit misty but um, that all kind of adds to the atmosphere of the game obviously there'll be no fans here today and here we are now coming up to the home of Stenhouse Muir was here a few weeks ago and some of the players starting to turn up okay so if you just go down there yep through the gauge so there we go, I've had my temperature checked, I've got my coffee. Did you fill up your COVID form? Yes, yep, I did that one, yep. E9. E9, yep, perfect, yeah. looks good. So as the players are warming up, I'm going to make my way around. Yes, I'm allowed to go about anywhere I want today except from on the pitch. So there you go. I've got a seat over there, uh, seat E9, I believe. Um, and I don't think I can really bowl about any anyone else's seat. But yeah, for now, here we are in the cop of Stenhouse Muir. And look at that. These two have already played each other this season in the Betfred Cup. It was a two-all draw with Stenhouse Muir winning on penalties. So should be a good game today especially with where they are in the league since i'm at a match today let me tell you about today's sponsor buy sell football shirts.co.uk you can get match worn shirts they've just added a load of new shirts to their website and if you use the discount code footy10 you'll get 10 percent off they've got loads on there and they've just added a load of new ones as well so do check out their range they've got loads of shirts from scottish teams to english teams to teams all around the world and national teams as well so yeah please do check them out use the discount code footy10 to get 10 percent off your purchase look at that what a view i'm back at a game absolutely buzzing but just prior to kick off today, the two teams here are shaping up pretty well. Stenhouse and Muir are fourth and Edinburgh City are third. They've obviously only played a few games, but yeah, still early days, but I'm hoping for a good match today. And uh, interestingly, I've got a good fact about this stadium, Ockleview Park. I hope I'm saying the name right. I'm pretty sure I am, Ockleview Park. So on the 7th of November, 1951, about six years after the Second World War finished, the first ever floodlit game between two Scottish sides was played here at Ockleview Park. So the first ever use of floodlights in Scotland was at this stadium. Oh, good goal.
That's just, yeah. When I call it, I'll take it. That's just, yeah. That's just, yeah. And here I am now in the home of Stenhouse Muir watching my first ever game in Scotland. Can they score? Oh, what a chance. Only a minute or two in. Stenny have almost scored already. What a start. How's he missed that? So that is half time, quite a feisty game so far, nil nil, and it's actually been quite a good nil nil, there's been some good chances, and um, you can actually hear like a lot of what the players are saying. <laughs> go what a start to the half Edinburgh City not quite yet awake it was a mishap there you go one nil the first Scottish goal ever scored on this channel so there we go we've had a goal and it's the Stenhouse Muir the home team just before they scored I was gonna uh, at the start of this half just tell you about kind of what Scottish football is like at the moment as I'm well aware that this is probably the first Scottish match day vlog since March this year of anyone on YouTube so it's nice to be here obviously and uh, to be able to show you what football's like at the moment so I will take you from here in the second half and I'll, t I'll obviously keep tabs on the game but I'll also show you kind of what is going on at the club as well at the same time so just here behind me you have the main stand and in the main stand you've got where I'm sitting just there the little press box kind of area and then you've also got you know substitutes in the middle for Stenhouse Muir they are this side of the pitch this is the home side of the pitch and then the away side is just over there as well there are also a number of just people who are working with the club who fill out the rest of this stand so there's probably a good maybe 50 60 people in this side of the side of the stadium Pressurising the keeper, and up the ball goes. Big head. So let's continue on and see what the rest of the ground looks like. So yeah, that is the entrance I came in, and the game is just on at the moment. I'm gonna get a view from around the side, around behind the goal. There is a few security working, as you can imagine, just around this area, just kind of checking people coming in and out, temperatures and all that kind of stuff, as the ball goes back to the keeper here. We are behind the goal of this end. No stand this end. There's a free kick's been awarded, but look. Here we are. Stand is obviously just behind me. And the keeper here. See if we can get some action up this end in this half. Not with defending like that. Fair play. Stenhouse Muir have been good so far. Had a few chances in the first half. I'd say they deserve their lead. And then so obviously, as we continue our way round, as I mentioned when I was over there, that is where all the home kind of team are, all the coaches, all the subs, this is where the away team are, over here. So you see all those guys over there in that little dugout as the ball comes this way. It's the skipper. Good bit of defending. He's had a good game so far. Andy Munro, number 19, for Stenhouse Muir. As the ball goes in, 
Is there a chance here, is it? If they can work it out wide. No, never handball. And then as we come round, we've got a photographer here. And yeah, just along the line there, that is where the away team are. And they are actually housed. So obviously due to COVID, I've got to come into a bit of a car park now. So I hope I can still see the game from here. But due to COVID, obviously home and away dressing rooms have to be completely split. But yes, the away team are in this building over here to get changed in and the home are uh, in the home team dressing rooms and stuff over in the main part of the stadium but here they're getting raging these lads here are doing some commentary for Stenhouse Muir's website I believe so they're here at the stadium but yeah as we keep heading around I'd imagine that in usual times this would all be filled up with fans as we come around here but I don't want to miss any of the action as it gets knocked forward by Stenhouse Muir. They seem like two good teams. Honestly, the play has been really quick here and uh, I've been impressed at the speed of the play and some of the passing has been excellent. As here comes Stenhouse Muir on the break. What can he do? Cuts inside. Man at the back post, oh, cut out. And he's whammered that one. Well over the bar into the Stenhouse Muir cop as I coined it earlier. So let's go and have a look in here and complete the loop of the four stands. Couple of ball boys, but that is basically, here he goes, will he get there? Looks like it's going to go out, will it? No, fair play, he's kept it in. But yeah, that is the four sides of the stadium and kind of who you get here. You get ball boys, security, a few people from the club. You can see there in the main stand that everyone's all spaced apart. My seat is over there as well, all spaced apart from everyone else. All it's missing is the fans. However, yeah, there's still enough people here to make it a bit of an occasion. So yeah, enjoying it so far. It's a League Two match. Oh, there's a bit of space here for Edinburgh City. Oof, wide. <laughs> So yeah, currently here, bringing you the first Scottish football vlog to YouTube at a match. I'm sure on the whole platform since, uh, since March earlier this year. So please do remember to hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. Oh, and we've got a pen. We've got a pen. I'm going to get a good view of this. So it's 2 0, and uh, yeah, good idea to come sit around here for a bit, or stand around here for a bit, should I say? 2 0 now to the Warriors, Stenhouse Muir. And look now, you can see the floodlights are on, and remember what I told you 1951, the first ever floodlit game here, and that tradition obviously continuing to this day. And a lovely community club, always willing to help, and look at that beautiful colour of the sky, kind of nice blue colour in what was like a foggy night, as you can tell by the by the floodlights over there. Buzzing, what a day, honestly. You've seen a penalty from behind a goal. That was class. And you guys know how much I love stadiums, but to be able to just come in and see a game, feels really nice. And for the first half, I was sat down, kind of just observing the game, trying to take it all in, watch as best I could. But this half, I thought I'd just show you around a little bit, show you around the stadium. Look at this. Properly, properly pitch side now. Look at that, that's class bit more high-tech than my uh, vlogging equipment, let me tell you. But I'll take the GoPro any day. There he is. Scored both goals, fair play, good performance. There goes the full-time whistle, 2-0 to Stenhouse Muir. Actually a really good game. Impressed by that, I am. So, here we are, players are just calling down. Well played. Well played, keep up. Just. And so, there we go. That is my first ever game in Scotland. Hang on, I've got to do it. 
That is my first ever game in Scotland. I'm so buzzing that I've been to one. A huge, huge thank you to the staff here at Stenhouse Muir for allowing me to come today and to film this. I hope it gives you a bit more of a fan's perspective of the games. And I've got a couple more coming up at a few more clubs in a few weeks. So yeah, stay tuned, stay subscribed. Please hit that like button. Do remember to check out buysellfootballshirts.co.uk as well. And drop me a comment to let me know how you enjoyed this video and uh, if there's anything else that you'd like to see from me coming to these games in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.